right, we are going to make some taco meat. Yep, just going to ground up some meat. This is really a dish that I kind of make. It can, you can turn it into anything. Just start with a pound of ground beef and get it good and brown. And then you just start adding in the fun stuff. You can serve it in a bowl with this rice that I'm making over here to my left. Or you can serve it in uh, you know, the taco shells. Those great taco shells that I just purchased. I hope they work. I hope they're not all crunched up. That's the one thing I'm worried about. I don't hear anything in there. So I'm hoping they were packaged really, really well. I think I will probably um, not have one of those and I will probably have mine in a bowl. In one of those paper bowls that I bought. I hope you all saw that last grocery haul. It was fun. It really was. All right. Ground beef is just settling down a little bit here. Okay. And this guy over here to my left, this little red pot is getting ready to boil. And the rice will go. I like to combine it all. Oh, there's so many things you can do right here, um, right at this stage. So, so many things. And I have really, uh, you know, with this taco mixture that I make, it's just browning beef. Couldn't be easier. It's just the stuff you add to it. I like to add everything to it that I'm making right now. The rice, when I'm done here, this rice, um, dirty rice mix, I like to just, when it's done, dump it into here and just kind of mix it all up and then uh, then I put it in like a soft shell oh it's so good bunch of them in a pan with cheese over it and you can just bake it in the in the uh, oven for just a little bit or you can just eat it just like it is nice and soft all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here remember I said uh, that I didn't have much of my own taco mix left, and I don't, but I do have eh, probably a teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. And I will try to remember to put this recipe below uh, because I need it, and um, hopefully, you're going to want it because it's good. It's really, really good. I'm going to see a big difference um, in the way this tastes because I'm going to go ahead right now and use a packet. I know I hate to. I really, really hate to. Let me get some water. Yep. About two thirds of a cup, half a cup or so. All right, that's gonna calm that down. All right, we're gonna let this just cook. That's all it's gonna do. Cook on down. Yep. All right, I'll be back in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add my mix and the little packet that comes with it. All the flavoring that's, uh, are all in here. Honestly, this could not be any easier, but it is such a fun, fun meal to serve. And we are having company tonight. My precious oldest son and his lovely wife and my little, my two little grandchildren, my little Everett and my little Leo. They're coming over, so let's just give this a nice stir. Look how dirty it up the water. Dirty rice. This is such a yummy, yummy thing. Honestly, you could double this and make a meal for a lot of people. Yeah, this is just fun. It's just a fun, quick meal, and I thought maybe I'd take you along. And we're going to cover it now and let it come up to a boil. Our meat, meanwhile, over here... It's just boiling away. Let me see that. See if I can move this up just a little bit so you can see it. Is that any better? Yeah. All right. It's just cooking up a storm here. And it smells so good in here. Yes, it smells great. All right. I'll bring you back in just a little bit. See what else we throw in here. All right. Our meat is just boiling away here smelling so so good I want it to absorb a little bit more of that liquid I'm gonna go ahead and 
pump up the temperature just a little bit. All right, so let me get a pad here because the top of this little thing gets very hot. I'm gonna check in here just real quick. All right, my rice is coming to a rolling boil. So I'm gonna turn that down, way down, and just let that sit for oh, about 15, 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, as long as I have to. Alrighty. Now, yes, I did use the help of the grocery store. There's nothing wrong with that, especially when you have a last minute company coming and you want to give them something wonderful. Here's where the doctoring up starts. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to make my uh, chili, my taco seasoning and uh, be able to make, yeah, you can make chili from it. <laughs> you could probably have made this into a pot of chili. It would have been delicious. So much to do with a taco mix and a pound of ground beef, right? All right, now I'm gonna add in some black beans. Yes. Add in some black beans. We love black beans. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I am also going to add in some um, salsa, be any kind of salsa, whether it's mild, medium, or really hot. You can make this any way you want. And not a whole bunch, just a little, because there's already a lot of sauce in there. These are my add-ins, okay? This is the stuff right here that I think puts this over the top. This is chili sauce. Oh, if you don't have chili sauce, go get some chili sauce. It is so good. I am the last person in the world who would ever be telling you to go get chili sauce, I thought, you know, like a year ago, maybe. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that's a beautiful shot right there. Yeah, I like that. All right, we'll mix it all in very gently. You don't want to smush up the beans. All right, speaking of smushing up beans. Okay, if you didn't have another pound of ground beef and you feel like you needed more because of the size of the amount of company that's coming, um, you can always add, and this is what I would do, I just kind of put everything to the side the best I can to, a pan, to the pan and make kind of a little opening like that. I would get out a can of refried beans. I always keep my uh, pantry stocked with um, Mexicana flavors. Um, I like them, we like them, and we use them all the time. So, oh boy, this smells so unbelievably good, guys. Oh, how I wish you could smell it. It's got every wonderful flavor in the world in here. <laughs> anyway, I would pour a can of that in here. And the reason I separate everything is because I wanna make sure that it gets nice and warm from the bottom of the pan so that it, it literally melts in there and just goes into the liquid around it so much better if you do it that way than adding just a big hunk of it right over. Um, it's true, it, it really does work that way. Right, and that just adds a little bit more bulk to your dish. Oh, this is just so beautiful, so beautiful. You know, you can taste it at this time. If you think you know, it's a little too spicy, you can add, um, you can add those refried beans. That would be a wonderful way um, to get a little bit of that spice out. Because there's not really anything in refried beans. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That is one of the reasons why I like to start with a mild, um, a mild taco mix. Yeah, a mild salsa mix because then you can start adding any kind of spices you want to this. You could have added spicy uh, beans to this. You can get that. I don't think that's what it's called. It's called something else, but they are, you can get beans that are a little bit more, have some spice, a little bit of kick, kind of bite to them. Yeah, and you can also add a can of, what is that stuff? Let me see if I have some. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. All right, I was looking for, I always keep these and now I can't find them, so I guess I used them. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a small can of the um, chilies with tomatoes. Yeah, they are so, so good to add to this. So if you have it, add it. If you don't, you don't add it. Nobody's gonna miss it. 
and you'll serve this because I'm going to add my rice to this, I believe, or they'll probably do half and half tonight. Yeah. And I'll serve it in a bowl and I will serve it, uh, the things on the side, I will serve a little bit of extra salsa. I will serve some uh, shredded cheddar cheese. And I will serve, of course, a big old bowl of sour cream. And um, we can eat it any way we want, in the bowl or in those crunchy taco shells. Kind of excited about that. All right, I am almost done. This is such a quick and lovely meal. I'm so, so excited. When you spill your cheese, just call in the, uh, the help here. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie. You can clean up my floor for me. All right, just a little bit more and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh -huh. My meat is all done. It is so beautiful and so rich and so thick. It is just perfect. Perfect. Oh, it smells so, so good. And then here is my rice, our dirty rice. And it is just cooking up a storm here. I like to give it a stir every once in a while so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Okay. All right, it's just about done. We'll give that another five minutes probably. And we are gonna have one delicious, delicious meal tonight and I'm so excited. All right, the rice is just about done. Look at that, it's nice and moist. All that water has been absorbed. It's just about to the spot where it is starting to stick on the bottom. It would stick if I wasn't stirring it. So that's how important it is to give this a stir. I know the box says, you know, don't touch it and then fluff it up with a fork and whatever. Well, that's just all fine and good, but that's not the way I do it. I check on it every once in a while. You know, I don't want to stick into my pans. All right, so let's see, I've got to turn down low, low. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit lower and just let it go. We are in for a delicious meal tonight. I'm so glad you're here. I have my son here, my handsome son and his beautiful wife and my two precious grandsons. Two out of three. All right, here's my little Leo. Say hi, everybody. Hi. And here's my hi. absolutely <laughs> stunningly beautiful daughter-in-law. Actually, daughter-in-law number one. <laughs> number one. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Number one chronologically. That's that's right. That's right. Yes. That My first daughter-in-law. <laughs> yes. She's a wonderful mommy. And she made some beautiful babies oh, along with this guy. It's a he team has effort. a little Yeah. <laughs> For those kids that are watching. Yeah, right. 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 There are birds and there are bees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are ready to put our plates together as soon as uh, Lou gets in here and Everett. They're outside. What are they doing? Oh, Brownie, she wants to come in too. Prayer time. Good. Yes. Jesus, thank you for this day and this amazing food. Just pray that you bless it to our bodies. Father, we are just so grateful for all the blessings that you've given us, including these amazing children, Everett, Leo, and Micah. Just pray that you keep them safe and healthy. And you give us uh, all the energy and the strength and the patience and the wisdom to train them up.
Okay, look at this. Telltale sign of a really great day <laughs> in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, will the dishes ever end? Okay, well, bye y'all. See you soon. Lord bless.